20 years have passed since the tragic events of September 11, 2001, and I want to still send my love and support out to those families who lost loved ones on that day. And with it being the 20 year anniversary, I kind of wanted to look back and tell my story and my recollection of the day. Being a nine year old kid at the time, living in Sayreville, New Jersey, so close in distance from where everything transpired. Now, the day started off decent enough. Um, I was in fourth grade, the school year had just started maybe a week prior, and I remember it being like a really cool like fall day because back then like September kind of felt like fall already and I remember watching Recess on TV that morning which is like the most random memory I have of the day and for my elementary school um, we had to be in school at 9 o'clock and my bus would usually come at either 8.30, 8.35 around that time and I only lived six minutes from the school. So the day started off like for many of us normal enough. Um, and then I noticed around 10 o'clock, you know, my classmates started getting picked up early. Um, and by the end of the day, a lot of them had gotten picked up by their parents. And you can't even say the teachers really didn't know, but I don't think it was ever the teacher's place to tell us what was happening at nine years old. And, you know, they just kind of tried to play it cool. Now, I was, coincidentally enough, one of the few people that didn't get picked up early that day. And that was because my parents did not know how to explain this to me. Um, so if my memory serves me correct, they let us out an hour or two early from school because there were just no kids in the school by the end of the day. And the one thing I thought was weird was my bus driver who knew where I lived, this guy named Eric, um, he, instead of dropping me off at the bus stop, he dropped me off in front of my house. And... I walked in and my dad was sitting right in the living room and we used to have, it was like a 24 inch Mitsubishi TV, like entertainment center. And when I first walked in, my dad was kind of glued to the TV and from the corner of my eye, they, I saw they were playing footage on Fox news for what it was of the second plane hitting the tower. And I was kind of smart enough at that point to know they weren't watching like a movie or something, especially because it said Fox news. There was a news ticker on the bottom. Um, and I tried to just not acknowledge it. And I was like looking and I was waiting for my dad to say something to me. And my dad has never been the greatest person with telling us bad news, um, me and my sister. So I don't know where my mom was at the time. She was in the house somewhere, but I just remember looking at the TV and my dad definitely saw that I saw like the footage. And I wanted to say he was never good at telling us bad news because of the way he explained this. He looked at me and he said, you know, those two towers in New York that we went to uh, for the Yankee parade, like three years late, uh, earlier, because we went to the 98 Yankee parade. And I was like, yeah, the Twin Towers. And he like hesitated for a second. He was just kind of like, they're not there anymore. And I was kind of taken back. I, I remember just kind of being like, oh, all right. And, you know, he didn't tell me what happened, but by looking at the TV, I could kind of tell what probably happened. Um, and being nine, I don't think I comprehended it immediately, right? So I kind of just shrugged it off for the time being. And I remember going upstairs to my room and turning on my N64. And I was addicted to WWE or WWF at the time, No Mercy. So I started trying to play a match. And... I think as I sat there, like everything started sinking in a little bit. And I remember pausing the game and just kind of like shaking a little bit. And this is when I thought I had my first anxiety attack, uh, coincidentally enough. And I tried to like blow it off in my head. And I was like, let's get back to playing the game. And then I paused it again. I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Um, and I shut everything off and I just laid in bed. I like went under all my covers. I like hit under my pillows and I remember just in my head the thought of you know that just happened what if like a plane crashes into the house like I was thinking like I don't want to say like not logically but at that time I was like well what if that happens here like what if that happens to us and I just got really really scared and at that point I remember I guess my mom heard me turn everything off because she came in the room and asked if I was like okay or if I had any questions about anything 
And I just was sitting there and I was like, I, I don't know. Uh, and she just kind of like let me be because I'm definitely the type of person that my parents know that when I'm trying to figure things out and comprehend stuff, like let me kind of just be. Uh, and I remember just laying in my bed, like sweating and shaking and like so scared. Um, because at that point, you know, being so close to everything, you didn't know what was going to happen next. And that was a day where I think a lot of our, like us 90s kids, I think that was the day I like to say our childhood died because from that moment on, life was so different. I remember every news channel, every TV channel, even like MTV and Nickelodeon for the next like two weeks, all they were doing was reshowing the footage and uh, trying to like explain it in a way where like everyone could understand depending what your age group was, depending on the channel. And uh, it was such an odd, odd time period. And I remember going to school the next day and just no one knew what to say to each other. Like, you know, a day earlier we were all like happy kids and the next day we were all scared. Um, and I, I mean, like a month after that, we went to Ground Zero to go kind of see what was going on, me and my family. And it was weird because at the time where the tower stood, it was all like poster board with pictures of the people who passed away or people whose remains still weren't found that their families like either were hoping to find them or, you know, in case of anything, like they knew they were there, um, you know, I just remember it feeling like a construction zone because New York City is always a little foggy, but it was just so dust filled and foggy and cold. And it just felt like, like torment in a weird way. Like it, it was such a sad area to be in New York City for me is usually one of my happy places uh, when I go. And it, just that whole time period, I, it's so weird because you know me and my friends and like everyone of my age group kind of we were old enough to understand what was going on and comprehend it but still young enough to really not know what that meant like what was going to happen in the world from here because one day everything just felt so good and then the next day just living felt so weird because everything was a big question mark you know Shortly after that is when we went to an Afghanistan, and from there, like, life has been, just been, like, wars and conflict in America, and, like, for that short period of time, one of the most beautiful things was America uniting under very unfortunate circumstances, and, you know, it showed how well we could be to each other and how great we could be to each other when we needed to be, but... You know, it's, it's 20 years later, and these memories are still so fresh in my mind, like, I can watch the footage as they have it on YouTube a little bit of like the newscast for that whole day and it's like a 12 hour span and it feels like I'm watching it just like I was nine years old again and it never gets easier to try to understand what happened and it never gets easier to watch the footage and see that raw emotion from like the newscasters and the people they're interviewing and just how afraid we all were um, and you know, I just wanted to throw that out there of how my day went. Cause I just remember laying in bed after that. My parents went to bed early. My sister went to bed early. And I remember I couldn't sleep. I just like stared at like my ceiling wondering, you know, and I, to this day, it's, that's one of the things I do when I'm stressed or scared or confused. I won't sleep. I'll just stare at nothing. Um, but guys, that's my little quick recollection of September 11th, 2001 as a nine year old kid living in New Jersey. If you guys have any September 11th stories, what are your memories? Leave them down below as always. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you feel and just let me know what you remember. Just September 11th, 2001 is a day us here in America and around the world won't ever forget. And I want to say stay safe. I love you all. My prayers and love go out to the parents and those families of the loved ones they've lost. Until next time, guys, stay safe. I'll catch you later.